Thanks for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be finding convergent and divergent sequences using Desmos. So when we open up Desmos, the first thing we want to do is we want to set n as a list. So I type n equals and I use square brackets. So I do 1 comma 2 comma dot 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 100. Now you could use more for this, but I always like to use 100. Then what I'll do is I'll go over to the x-axis and I'll set the largest number for the x-axis out to 100. And so whatever number you choose for n, it has to match that because we want to see every dot. So let's take a look at something like this sequence, n squared. Now it doesn't plot anything. What we have to do is we have to plot them as points like this, comma n. So I see two dots and it looks like they're going up. So if I change the y-axis number, and to make it easy, I always just go by tens. So if it's not big enough, add another zero. If it's not big enough, add another zero. If it's not big enough, add another zero. There we go. And so the question is, is n squared convergent? Well, no. And the way you can tell from a picture is you want to look at the dots and you want to see, do the dots level out? And if they don't, well, then it's not convergent. It should be leveling off at some number. And when it doesn't, you know that it's not convergent. So let's try a different number. Let's try a different sequence. Let's try 1 over n squared. How about that? Now I see the dots way down here. So what I need to do now is I need to go back to my y-axis and start deleting zeros because I don't need all this empty space. So I delete, 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 delete. And actually I could delete some of the, some down here, negative one. So as I look, it looks like these numbers are flattening out. It looks like they're all getting closer and closer to zero. Now what if you're not sure? Well, that's easy. Go up to n and make it bigger. Put in more points. Again, just add in a zero. Now I have to go over to my x-axis and make this a thousand. But is it still flattening out? Yeah, yeah it is. And so this is converging to zero. Now a thousand is a bit much, so I'm going to cut it back down to a hundred. Now what if we're given something like this, 3n minus 1, and in the denominator, 2 minus 3n. Now I don't see anything, but it says there's a list, which means I'm looking in the wrong place, which means I need to back out. So this is about 1, so I make it 10, back this out. Negative 10. There it is. Right there. There's my dots. And looking here, the dots are flattening out, and they all appear to be approaching negative 1. So this is how you can use Desmos to plot a sequence and to tell if that sequence does converge. It, it's going to converge if the points flatten out to a single number, and they won't converge if they don't flatten out to a single number. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, click the subscribe button. To support the channel, click the links in the description below. Thanks for watching. And remember, the best way to understand something is to do it.